Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate. Hmm. Okay. Now, I do feel that uh, there has been a breakup. Um, like More like a tower moment is what I'm getting here. This person here is probably ready. To, they're healing or they have healed. This person here sees you as their wish fulfillment, okay, with the star here. This person feels that this is a very destined, a very fated connection between you and them. The reason I'm talking so slow is because there was a subscriber, there were a few subscribers who said I talk too fast. So I'm just going to try and slow down a little bit, all right? Hope it works. Bear with me. So yeah, this person here has a lot of regret. Uh, there's a lot of disappointment here. This person um, feels like they let you down because there was someone you trusted a lot. They do see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as a very destined, a very fated connection. They are being divinely guided towards this connection is also what I'm getting here. Okay, this person is healed and um, now they want to bring like a kind of a balance in the connection out here. Okay, the first card we have here is the magician here. So you're dealing with someone here definitely who's very, very manipulative. Yes, the magician does have a bad rep. But this is also someone here who is... Um, Trying to practically put in the action, trying to practically manifest this connection, okay? They are very clever, very intelligent, and uh, this person here is definitely trying to manifest a new opportunity or a new beginning with you. They have a lot of hope and faith that things will work out be between you guys eventually. Like, I'm hearing, like, we'll meet again soon one day. I don't know why. I, I keep hearing that. Three of Pentacles is telling me that this person here now wants to put in the effort. They now want to put in the work, okay? <clears throat> this person could have thought earlier uh, that uh, this relationship was too much work. They thought there was this was hard work or they probably thought that there was too much to do in this relationship, which is why they never put in the work. Maybe you put in all the work and they never appreciated the work you put in, okay? It was probably a very one-sided situation in the past here. They realize that and now they want to put in that effort. Uh, they want to commit to the situation. Not uh, like a commitment commitment, but you know how you commit to a, to a goal. They want to commit to the situation here. They want to learn more about this relationship. They're ready to work with you at, on the same page. And uh, I do feel that they could have uh, spoken to a few people. Could be elders, could be just taking some guidance from a third person out here because I see the three of pentacles here. Uh, finances and career or other people's opinions could have been an issue between you both here, okay? Finances, career, or other people's opinion could be a problem, could have been a problem between you both here. And their feelings with the two of wands here, I think now they're ready to make a choice. All this while, I think this person here was sticking to their comfort zone. They weren't ready to make that big, bold move towards you. They were wanting to stick in their comfort zone. They were very comfortable where they are. They didn't want to explore the relationship with you, as in they didn't want to take that risk and uh, go against the world probably and uh, make a choice but now this time around i feel they're choosing a different direction okay maybe they even had choices maybe they, ha they had another person to choose from this is for a few of you or maybe they just had a straight away choice about a yes or a fucking no and now this time around it's probably like a yes from their side out here because they're feeling divinely guided towards you they feel you are the positive direction okay and which is why they want to work on this connection here but they are at a crossroads but i feel they're very confident about what they're choosing whatever they're choosing and they're choosing you. What's the two of wands here? Clive for the two of wands. Clive for the two of wands. Justice. See, now they want to give you what you deserve here. <coughs> All this while, this person could be very unfair. Maybe they cheated. Um... Maybe there was a third party situation. Maybe they chose the other person and now they're getting their karma. Uh, maybe this person wasn't giving you marriage. Maybe this person was not ready to give you anything legal. Or maybe they weren't giving you what you deserve, flat out. Now this person here is wanting to make a very, uh, like making the right choice. They're very firm, very determined to make a very logical and balanced decision. Overall, I do feel they want to give you what you deserve because karma's biting their ass. 
or they've already got their karma out here and um, it's like a, a twist it's like a realization that you know what i need to give scorpio what they deserve but yeah not only are they thinking about it but they're genuinely making a very very firm decision okay and implementing on that decision they're acting upon that decision here yeah. could be someone who's a little slow moving so this person here is ready to give you what you want here they're ready they're prepared to come towards you okay but they, there's no forward movement as yet there's a difference between action taking action and moving forward and there's a difference between being ready out here on your head and being ready from your heart here so they're ready but they're not really yet moving forward towards you but they soon will in their at least in their feelings they are uh tell me what are this person's intentions towards scorpio <clears throat> What are this person's intentions towards Scorpio? Hmm. You could be dealing with a Libra, you know. Libra got the very similar cards. Okay. Their intentions. Wow. This person is very emotionally attached to you. They have a lot of love for you. They do. They have a lot of love for you. This person is very emotionally attached. I feel this person here is deeply, deeply thinking about you. Um... they're missing you a lot for a few of you you could have given this person an offer of some sort or an opportunity okay so what i mean is that probably you wanted to you asked them out or you asked them to marry you or something or you wanted something from them and you've given them that offer okay for a few of you this person's deeply analyzing this uh, offer that you've given to them uh with a lot of intuition by being very sensitive but this person has a lot of love for you okay a lot of love for you that's a very very motherly very nurturing caring energy doesn't matter what the gender is but deep down this person here has a lot of love you're dealing with someone here who probably is uh, not the best at expressing their emotions that's the kind of person you're dealing with this person does not like to express their emotions they're very very closed off they're emotionally attached here but um they don't open up okay so they're not like the coolest person in the room out here but uh, they have very deep a uh, soulful feelings for you okay like they feel like you are like their soulmate look at that six of cups there's a reconciliation here in their intention they want to come back towards you they're very nostalgic but uh, i feel that uh, you're dealing with someone here also who tries to avoid emotions because they have a tendency to get hurt you're dealing with someone who is very sensitive i'm going to say this is very sensitive person out here it doesn't matter what the gender is but i do know if i think it's very cute uh and you may the have gold judges get them i don't know but i think it's very cute when uh, uh some people don't open sorry i got disconnected so there are some delays out here <laughs> okay so uh yeah but this person here so yeah they're very uh, deeply emotionally attached to you okay so just give them some time to open up this person takes a lot of time to open up here with the charity who their intention is to either a travel towards you if there is physical distance between you both here this person is ready to travel towards you or it could also be that they want to travel uh, with you okay just take it how it resonates here but this time around here i think this person you're dealing with this person was here who was not determined all this while okay they were in two minds they were not sure they could be listening to other people's opinion or they were just not uh, 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 strong willed okay to make it happen with you this time around here they're very determined they have that willingness and determination to overcome any obstacles any challenges that are coming between you both here and look at that the knight of swords is the overall energy of their intention here so i feel in their intention here expect communication like that like out of nowhere it's their intention it's not their action so yeah but uh, at least it is in their intention here i feel that this person here <clears throat> um yeah so they don't care about any challenges they don't care on about any obstacles that are there anymore but they're ready to reach out to you with the page of pentacles here so this person wants to come towards you with an apology uh there's like this overflowing emotions that they have okay which they've buried within them out here but um they want to reach out they want to apologize um they want to uh, take the next steps in this relationship okay to move things forward between you the, the intentions are completely positive all their intentions are positive i just don't like the knight of swords very because it's more like the knight of swords is very rude it's uh, someone who lacks intimacy or they fear intimacy okay which is why they're just like they're just snap okay so it's like uh, if you guys have blocked them then they're just going to come out of nowhere and they're just going to be very mean and rude to you like what the fuck and block me or um for a few of you i just feel like if you have them block them and you guys are just not talking they're just going to be like boom you know out of nowhere they'll be like 
who the fuck have you been or something like that or why why the hell won't you talk to me and stop giving me the silent treatment you know something something very it's like an argument so it'll start off with an argument but the real intentions are this okay so that's what i have for you here um yeah yeah that's about it i don't know why i'm very keen uh to clarify the queen of cups so i'm gonna clarify that for you okay why is the queen of cups here why is the queen of cups here why are they holding back their emotions why is the queen of cups here <coughs> Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and the High Priestess here at the bottom of the deck. So Scorpio, um, the person you're dealing with is holding back their emotions, is keeping it contained. Why? Because so are you doing the same with the King of Cups here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. This is a connection where both of y'all are absolutely in love with each other here. You're both in love with each other here. It's just that they, you're the kind of person that you're dealing with, you know, you could have been someone who was always very expressive. You could have always said what you feel deep within. You could have always told them what you really feel deep down. Um, it's like, you know, if you, you're just like, you know what, I love you. And they'd be like, uh, yeah. And you will just be like, why? Well, just, why didn't you say that you love me too? And like, yeah, I mean, of course, right? So that's the kind of person you're dealing with. They don't like to be vulnerable. You know, they're very, um, they're very scared, very afraid to get hurt out here. And now you have mastered your emotions and they know that is what I'm getting because they're both intuitive. King and queen, that's a water sign. They're both very intuitive signs out here. So they know that you love them and you're, you've mastered your emotions this time around. Okay, You just feel it's more wiser and smarter to hold back your emotions, although you have a lot for them. And now this person here is falling even more deeper for you. But they're also keeping quiet here. But they're ready to move forward towards Wow, the king and queen, that's so sweet, that's a lot of love here. I feel this person here is coming, whoever this is, I don't think this is a past person here, okay? I just feel this is someone here who did wrong to you and now they want to come back towards you, making a very risky, bold choice and uh, they want to make it happen with you this time around, okay? So that's what I have for you, hope this reading resonates and I will see you next time, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.